Hi everybody, this is Josh Kulp. We are learning Daf Shui. We are on Daf Kuf Yud of Masechet Bava Kama. Uh, and I wanted to just go over some of the difficulties with these psukim, that, these verses that the Talmud spends a lot of uh, time trying to interpret, particularly Numbers 5-8. So if you open up to Numbers 5-6, the verse says, Daber B'nei Yisrael, speak to the people of Israel, and it talks about somebody who does something wrong, some kind of monetary crime. Uh, verse 7 says, they shall confess the wrong that they have done. Now here's where we get the problem is, what do they have to do to restore? What do they exactly have to restore? So um, verse 7 says, V'hishivet ashamo birosho, which sounds like the principle. V'chamishito Yosef alav, and he has to add an added fifth. V'natan la'asher asham. Well, he has to give it to the one who was wronged. And then they say in verse 8, this is where the problem comes in, v'im ein le'ish goel la'ashiv ha'asham alav. If nobody has, if he, this person doesn't have any redeemers, uh, inheritors to return the, sounds like the asham here, and this is a big problem, but the asham is a, the principle Ha'asham, then the next verse says, Ha'asham ha'mushav l'adonai le'kohen, which makes, makes it sound like the principle goes to the kohen. Milvad el ha'kipurim, in addition to the ram of expiation, okay, which is also an asham offering. Now, you can see here there's some confusions with the word asham. Uh, does it refer to the offering, or does it refer to the... Um, the restitution money, but a bigger problem that the Gemara deals with is where does the added fifth go, right? The Gemara has a lot of brighto <clears throat> that try to uh, deal with what does the word asham mean, and then they try to uh, stick the word, the, 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 the added fifth into the word mushav, which is just repaid, in Hebrew. Now, I think the shot of it is that the Gemara just doesn't, the Torah just doesn't deal with where does the added fifth go. I assume it goes to the same place that the principle goes, which means to the Kohen. Who else is it going to go to? It's all going to go to the Kohen. But <clears throat> the rabbis want to find out exactly where that um, added fifth goes and how does it work into the Psukim. So they all, the commonality seems to be a tying it into the um, the word mushav, which goes along with the normal idea that extra words in the Torah must have an extra meaning. The verse could have said that the asham goes to the kohen. The word hamushav, the, asha, the asham that is being restored, well, what other asham we're talking about? So therefore, the word mushav must have another meaning, and that's how they stick it into the verse. And also those brightos are all considering, like, how do we deal with the fact that the asham can mean two different things, which leads to great confusion. Asham can either mean the sacrifice, this is a type of a sacrifice, and it could also mean the money, which is an unusual use of the word asham. So that's why we have so many brightos trying to deal with the interpretation of these verses. Uh, uh, I hope you're enjoying getting back on track with Daf Shui. Sorry that we missed a week. Uh, and I hope that you will, as we move into the next year, join our live Daf Shui class, which takes place on Sundays.